And it came to pass after this, that Absalom prepared him chariots and horses, and fifty men to run before him. And Absalom rose up early, and stood beside the way of the gate, and it was, that when any man that had a controversy came to the king for judgment, then Absalom called unto him, and said, Of what city thou? And he said, Thy servant of one of the tribes of Israel, and Absalom said unto him, See, thy matters good and right, but no man of the king to hear thee. Absalom said moreover, O oh, that I were made judge in the land, that every man which hath any suit or cause might come unto me, and I would do him justice. And it was, that when any man came nigh to do him obeisance, he put forth his hand, and took him, and kissed him. And on this manner did Absalom to all Israel that came to the king for judgment, so Absalom stole the hearts of the men of Israel. And it came to pass after forty years, that Absalom said unto the king, I pray thee, let me go and pay my vow, which I have vowed unto the Lord, in Hebron. For thy servant vowed a vow while I abode at Geshur in Syria, saying, If the Lord shall bring me again indeed to Jerusalem, then I will serve the Lord. And the king said unto him, Go in peace. So he arose, and went to Hebron. But Absalom sent spies throughout all the tribes of Israel, saying, As soon as ye hear the sound of the trumpet, then ye shall say, Absalom reigneth in Hebron. And with Absalom went two hundred men out of Jerusalem, called, and they went in their simplicity, and they knew not anything. And Absalom sent for Ahithophel the Gilonite, David's counselor, from his city, from Gilo, while he offered sacrifices. And the conspiracy was strong, for the people increased continually with Absalom. And there came a messenger to David, saying, The hearts of the men of Israel are after Absalom. And David said unto all his servants that with him at Jerusalem, Arise, and let us flee, for we shall not escape from Absalom, make speed to depart, lest he overtake us suddenly, and bring evil upon us, and smite the city with the edge of the sword. And the king's servants said unto the king, Behold, thy servants whatsoever my lord the king shall appoint. And the king went forth, and all his household after him. And the king left ten women, concubines, to keep the house. And the king went forth, and all the people after him, and tarried in a place that was far off. And all his servants passed on beside him, and all the Cherethites, and all the Pelethites, and all the Gittites, six hundred men which came after him from Gath, passed on before the king. Then said the king to Ittai the Gittite, Wherefore goest thou also with us, return to thy place, and abide with the king, for thou a stranger, and also an exile. Whereas thou camest. This content was provided by AngeloTracarico.com. Subscribe to the channel for more stories.